Over the last years, hundreds of people have been killed in the streets of Davao. Most of the killings take place in broad daylight, in busy places with lots of witnesses present. The government has been claiming all of the victims died as a result of gang wars. Our research found uh, a pattern of killings that are perpetrated by essentially a death squad with a very strong involvement of the police officials and local government officials. We have information from insiders, from family members of death squads, from government officials. This group is going after anybody whom local authorities consider undesirable. Petty criminals, street children, low-level drug dealers. Young men will approach on motorbikes. Often they do not cover their faces. This is in broad daylight, public places, could be a market, could be on the street. They shoot their victims or they stab them and usually they disappear very quickly. They clearly believe that uh, nobody would dare to testify against them. One of the most dramatic cases we documented was the case of Clarita Alia, who lost four of her sons to the killings by Davao Death Squad. They were all teenagers, killed one after another. <laughs> She actually received a warning from a local police official uh, who was unhappy with her son's behavior and explicitly warned her that if she continues to be too active, that she will pay for it and that all of her children will be killed. It is strongly believed by the families and by others in the community that the local officials and the police are behind the killings. Mayor Duterte is the mayor um, of Davao City. He's been in power for a long time and really came to power um, riding high on a very tough approach to crime. And so he's been really sort of feeding into the public fears about, you know, the rising crime rates, the fact that it's not safe for people on the streets, and making Davao, you know, no longer the murder capital of the Philippines. I hate drugs. And I hate lawlessness. I simply hate criminals. If you look at the statements that Duterte has been making for all these years, it is not that hard to determine that he was at least encouraging this wave of assassinations. Instead of making the place safer, uh, he makes the place more dangerous. We've called for a broader investigation of government officials in Davao to really explain how these killings can be happening and why the perpetrators of these killings aren't being brought to justice. investigations, prosecutions, and trials would be the best uh, testimony that the authorities do not support such killings.